<laughs> Speaking of managers, <laughs> what are your opinions on Graham Potter leaving mm. the goals to Stamford Bridge? I'm going to come in last here because I think you two are going to say similar things. I think well deserved for what he's managed at Brighton over the years. Yeah. Uh, I think he fits the sort of football philosophy that Chelsea are wanting, whether that actually comes to fruition, because at the time Tuchel fit their philosophy as well. Um, it's a little bit early days. I mean, we saw them. Who did they play? Who did uh, they play in the Salzburg? Champions League? Yeah, Salzburg. Yeah. We saw them against Salzburg. They looked better than what you've seen recently. But it's still early days, isn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. Well, I've seen so many different like journalist articles and stuff come out that the re- one of the main reasons or a big reason why Tuchel was sacked was because Bowley wanted to play a four-three-three, and Tuchel no, he, wanted four, three. Three. he wanted to play a four-four-three originally. Yeah. Oh right. Oh. Uh, a four-four-three. <laughs> Bowley wanted <laughs> yeah. twelve men on the pitch. Fuck everything. North v South. Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll play with twelve. Fuck it. Change everything. <laughs> Yeah. I still don't think the sack it makes sense. <gasps> no, it doesn't. It, don't, it really uh, doesn't. It's, it's, so, like, I don't I don't know about Potter, if I'm honest, because I'm just thinking, well, what did Tuchel really do? Yes, he did have a poor start to the season, but he's only been the manager, what, 18 months, if that? Yeah, not even yeah. that, maybe. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. So, I, I don't know if Potter's going to improve Chelsea when Tuchel's uh, still a very good manager. Yes, I don't think um, Ab- yeah, carry on quickly, go for it, mate. Abramovich wouldn't have even sacked him by now. No. I don't think. No. no, like and he was they were no, well, he was known for like, Game all right, managers, you're doing yeah. shit, you're gone. I don't think yeah. after what four games in a Champions League game you would have sacked him or six or something. No, yeah. Do, do you think because because of it's the likes of Tuchel, let's say Bowley went down and said, look, you, I want you to play in this formation, I want us playing this kind of football and Tuchel turned around and said, no, we don't have the players for that or I don't want to affect you, I don't really know how to coach her to the top of the top or at the top of the top, sorry. Mm-hmm. Whereas if he now bring in the likes of Potter, Potter is going to be like, yeah, sure, I'll do whatever because you've given me all this money, that you give me this job and you give me this reputation at this massive club. Um, I think so. From what from what I read, you see a lot of Chelsea signings. They were a lot of Bowley signings, not necessarily Tuchel's. Yeah. So I don't know whether what Tuchel had in mind for areas to improve were listened to and acted upon by the new ownership. Like, don't get me wrong, new ownership. What did they spend? Nearly two hundred fifty million. No yeah, more than that, right? They? More than that, yeah. I think was, most spent in the window, I think. Yeah, yeah I are. think it was close to, like, for the amount they spent, they could have had, out the mid-table clubs, they could have had an entire start in 11 for what the mid-table clubs spent. <laughs> they could have they could have revamped nine players in their squad yeah. that have all proven throughout the start of the season. I just don't think all their signings are what Tuchel's gone to the board and went, right, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. I think they've gone, okay, here's Kukurea. He's got a nice name. He's got a cool name. They've literally just signed people with cool names. Koulibaly, Kukurea, Kukurea. Aubameyang. Who's got got the funkiest name? We'll sign him. Literally, there's... I don't don't know, because... Too cool, too show was playing a five back and they signed a left wing back because they were getting rid of Alonso, which is very understandable. Yeah. Um, so Make that's the, the chill well replacement what slash. Off brand, seriously. Uh, it, <laughs> it makes a chill well like position under threat. And obviously, we're seeing definitely now with Potter in, he's going to start obviously coming from Brighton. Mm. And also, Kulabali and Fafana. Replacing. We've seen. Uh, well, Christensen. Christensen's gone. You're getting older Thiago Silva, Azpilicueta, they are kicking on a bit. I mean, no, the thing is, but they started as well for him, didn't they? Like, Dave and yeah, well, I Thiago, think, Thiago, Thiago I mean, Silva. Because, because, only because he, he, they had to start, because the other option was a, a 19-year-old Chalaba. I don't know if he's 19, he's very that's, young. That's what I mean. I, th- I think he's signed... played and done he, well, no? Yeah, I think, I think when he has played, he, he has played well, but it's... it's I think with these young not players... Not Chelsea level. Yeah, with these young players, especially if you're playing for the top four clubs, for example, you don't want to say, okay, he's 90 minutes for the next 20 games because a bad injury is going to potentially ruin their career or they're just going to one big hit and it could also ruin their career. I think they're very fragile 
and it has to be coached very well, uh, which I, th- I can only assume is the um, reason why he hasn't started more. But as I, said, I think when I've watched him play, he, he seems competent, he seems good enough and has the potential to definitely get there, uh, just not yet in my personal opinion. So I, I, I believe the left-back centre-backs is what Tuchel would have wanted because we obviously know he plays a five-back, therefore three centre-backs playing at a time. He's got Reese James, maybe. He, we've seen Loftus Cheek playing over there. Yeah, I think he just wanted more depth for that centre-back and players for the future, which Koulibaly isn't for the future, but for Fana definitely is. Uh, well, how old is Koulibaly? 31. Fuck okay, it, is he that old already? Yeah, well, we've been yeah. linked to him for like seven years now. Yeah, true. That's but like, like, don't worry, right. especially with a centre back. I mean, we see it from Thiago Silva and a lot of other centre backs. He could, he's probably still got another five years in him, could have Bali. May, maybe four. Yeah. Um. So it, I was going to say, by judging by modern era centre backs, I mean, you've still got Johnny Evans playing in the Premier League right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that you still got thirty five, thirty six, and then maybe. A decline after that. Yeah, I, I think I think the whole footballing kind of fan base still think, oh, she's 30, 31. He's probably only got a year or two left. But realistically, he's probably, he's sure he's probably past his peak, maybe just coming out of it, but he's probably still got another five, six, seven oh, years. Well, yeah. Be, again, it's all very dependent on positioning. I think it's a big one. Like if you're a winger, yeah. you're not playing left wing at a fucking 32 years old, unless you're Neymar or Messi. Um, or Aaron. <clears throat> I think as well um... <laughs> you mentioned about Bowley wanting this 4-4-3 kind of thing I think we saw it instantly with Potter's oh. Potter's first game obviously against um, Salzburg it looked like they were set up in a 4-4-3 mm. which again does make sense with their signings they lack in a 4-4-3 yeah, th- yeah you know what? he's got in my head that much he's rent free in my head I'm thinking 4-3-3 yeah. which is he he played it, but even at Brighton, I'd I'd say the majority from when I think Brighton is five back. Uh, but this season they haven't really, but yeah, primarily. No, but like in, last year, yeah, in last year in general, I think like Dunk, uh, White, and whoever the other guy was. I think I uh, think Duffy? he's got it. Instead of Potter, instead of Potter coming in and doing exactly what they want, I think he's generally got, oh, oh Forest one oh. nil. Let's 